so Jerry, you obviously played in, in four games last year, got several starts, but did this one feel any different or was it just a continuation of how you were performing last season? Yeah, it didn't feel much different. Um, I've been here before, you know, I've played a lot of games um, in my career. Uh, so this one wasn't any different. It was just go out there, uh, prepare and, and play. Hey, Jared, uh, question about some of the new receivers coming in, like Sam Brown and Reese Smith, kind of just what are you seeing from them and kind of what was clicking between you and them today? Yeah, they're guys that both had a really good camp, um, guys that came in, you know, stepped up um, and are in the rotation because of it. Um, and they're guys that I'll continue to go to throughout the season. Jared, I'll ask you, I've asked everybody else, your thoughts on Zach Frazier, um, true freshman. You got, the, you got the behind the view of how he did. Uh, give me your thoughts on how he did. Yeah, hats off to uh, Zach and Brandon Yates, um, both um, young guys uh, getting their first start. Um, and I think they did a great job today. Um, I think the whole old line, you know, a testament to them uh, for, you know, allowing us to have a really good run game today. And I think they did a really good job today. And uh, pass game, too. I didn't even get it. I don't think I had a finger laid on me today. Um, and, and we'll keep that up. Back to Cody. Go ahead. So, Jared, how much different is the offense when the running game is successful? Yeah, it's, it's a huge difference um, because, you know, when the running game is working, that means uh, the pass game is probably working, too. Um, when, they, when you open up the run game, it opens up uh, – and allows you to pass the ball as well. Keenan Cummings is next. Go ahead, Keenan. Jared, it's been an odd off season. Uh, how did you feel about the timing with your receivers today? I felt good. Um, we've we've had a ton of practices, uh, counting the OTAs, camp, walkthroughs. Um, so I think uh, our timing was pretty good. Jared, there were so many different things I think the coaches wanted to see on offense today, you know, passing, running, obviously. Did you have, you know, some options in what you were calling? Were you going to the line with different plays? You know, what was your read like, you know, in the RPOs that you called? How did you think that went? Yeah, most of the time uh, I really didn't uh, do anything on myself by myself. Um, just whatever the coaches called, uh, we executed. That's it. Asking this one for Bob Herzl, Jarrett, your thoughts on playing without fans today? A lot of empty seats there. Yeah, I've been waiting for this question because um, I played in Bowling Green and in, uh, in the Maction on, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and, and uh, my family was the only people in the stands at the time, so it's nothing new to me. C could you hear every name they were calling you? I could hear, you know, I, I could hear, you know, my mom scream, and I, I you can see her in the stands. Um, um, usually you can't find her, um, but I could see her sitting in front row. Hey, Jared, you're without two tight ends today, two receivers. I don't want to get any messed up, but as a quarterback, was it – I don't, know, I don't know if exciting is the right word, but there must be something uniquely challenging and maybe inspirational about having to run the offense and, and bring along younger guys and work with an offensive line that's kind of patchwork. Uh, did, did that kind of put some wind in your sail here today? I don't really think it made a big difference. Um, I think, uh, you know, it might have helped the guys that got to play and, and they stepped up and did their thing. And uh, that'll help us in the long run, getting them reps. Um, and, and I think they did a good job.